Hello everybody, how are you? My name is Celso from Regina Productions, and this is a new version of an old video I did quite some time ago. In fact, it was one of my first YouTube videos that I ever made. So basically, this video is the GoPhone video, as you can tell from the title. It's how to set up your um, iPhone with GoPhone. My old video had over 3,000 views. I think that's pretty good for you, maybe pretty bad, but I like the number. And many people um, uh, commented questions, which I really do enjoy. Go ahead and ask me any questions in the comments. And um, they asked me sorts of uh, a lot of sorts of questions about the GoPhone. And um, I thought, why don't I just make a new video explaining why and I mean explaining why I did it and how I did it, so people would just get it um, get it straight and know what they're doing. Okay, so sadly, I do not have any um, GoPhone SIM cards at my disposal right now. I do have two, but they don't have service anymore. The reason for that is because I never refilled the account. But let's go uh, for a little backstory. My iPhone right now is factory unlocked, but when I did the video a while ago, it was not factory unlocked. I got it locked to AT&T. I thought I could unlock it, and I was wrong, because the unlock never came for the 04.11.08 baseband. And I was pretty sad. But the day I got my iPhone, I did not know about that. But I knew I needed an AT&T SIM card to activate it. I did not have anyone. So I went on eBay and um, bought an AT&T micro SIM. You don't have, to have you don't have to buy a GoPhone SIM, just AT&T micro SIM. I went ahead and bought one. I think it was like five or seven bucks delivered in like in a week. I got it in the mail, um, and yeah, I activated it. And um, uh, before that, I learned that you can activate it with Retina, and I did that. So I didn't really need the GoPhone SIM anymore, but I just went ahead and bought it because I did want the fancy AT&T logo on my carrier bar. So that's the main reason why I bought it, and that's the main reason why I never refilled it, because I did have my T-Mobile account on my BlackBerry, that was my carrier phone at the time. So, let me teach you how to do this step by step. I'll try to make this as simple as I can. First, you need an iPhone, of course. Um, I'm pretty sure this works on iPhone 4S and below. I'm not sure if it works on iPhone 5s. Probably does because it's still AT&T. But I know it works on 4S and below. So let's, um, let's get started. After you have your iPhone, uh, make sure it's AT&T. It will not work with Verizon Sprint or any other locked carrier. Then go on um, eBay or Amazon, whichever you prefer. Go ahead and look up AT&T Micro SIM. You get you'll get one like this. You just pop it out, and you have one like this, a micro sim. And if you buy or have a let's say an AT and T regular sim that's not activated, go ahead and buy one of these, a new C micro sim cutter. I think it's like three dollars, and it's really easy to use. It really takes out the whole problem of cutting and such. So after you do that, you have your micro SIM card in your desk, you have your iPhone in your desk. Um, don't put the GoPhone SIM card in your phone yet. You're going to go to this website. Okay, so this is the AT&T um, GoPhone registration site. The registration is quite easy, but it has a couple of tricks if you want to use it with your iPhone. First of all, you're probably going to get one of these when you get your um, GoPhone. Sorry if I'm too zoomed in. I'm going to zoom out a little so you can see this. It starts focusing. So you're going to get one of these. And you're going to get this number. I don't know if it will ever focus. But anyways, you can see it. You'll probably see it in yours. It's the ICCID number. And basically what that is is like your registration number. And in the GoPhone website, where you are in the home screen, that I'm going to leave the link to in the description for, you're going to see it says... Sorry. You're going to see it says SIM card number, and that is the EICCID number that I just showed you. So you're going to put that in, and the next step, I'm not going to show you because I have no SIM card to registrate. You're going to see a normal registration, you know, name, address, you can put that, don't worry about it. You don't have to be over 18. I'm not over 18, and I did it. And there's going to be a tricky part there. 
it's going to ask you for an IMEI. And if you don't know what an IMEI is, it's basically the mobile identity of your phone. It's basically like you have an ID number, that's your phone's ID number. So it's going to ask you for an IMEI number. But make sure, just make sure, this is the most important thing you'll screw up if you don't listen to me. Do not put the IMEI of your iPhone in the registration box. Do not. If you got a phone with the GoPhone SIM card, do not put the GoPhone IMEI either. My recommendation is to put a normal random 16 digit number in there. It can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 or something like that. It does not matter. In fact, I made it up. It only has to be 14 to 16 digits long and AT&T will accept it. So you do not have to worry about that. But make sure you do not put your iPhone's IMEI in there. After all of this is done, at and is going to ask you if you want to refill your account. That's all up to you. I didn't do it. It does not matter really. It depends what you want to do with it. If you actually want to use it as phone, you have to fill, refill your account. You can do it via credit card. It's pretty simple. Then you're going to get a confirmation email with your phone number. And you're going to get uh, also your um, password to check your account online. Then you just put your SIM on your iPhone and wait for that glorious AT&T 3G um, sign. Okay, so another question that's been around in the video a lot is, do you get data with this? Me, personally, I do not know. I can't tell you if you do, because I really have not tested it out. But I've seen a lot of YouTube videos that say it works. You have to go to a website, I'll link, I'll link it in the description, and um, it says that you can actually... Um, um, activate your data in there with, for your GoPhone. For this website, I can give you a thumbs up because um, when I factory unlocked my iPhone and came back to the US, put my T Mobile SIM and tried the internet, it was slow. I gotta say, it was goddamn slow. It was, it, I don't know if it was because in the summer I used 3G and T Mobile has Edge, but it was slow. And um, I installed the T Mobile profile on my phone and it was fast. It's not blazing fast, it's not LTE fast, but it's fast. I mean, it's decent. I don't know what the site does. I think it fills out the information you could fill. It just makes it easier. So I'll go ahead and link it in the description. Pick your carrier and your in your own country, and it'll just install it for you. Um, so that's why I can tell you about the data. If you don't trust me, if you think I'm an idiot, I don't blame you for that because I don't know about the data. I'm just rambling here. You can go ahead and search for another video on how to get data on the GoPhone iPhone. So yeah, that's pretty much. Okay, so guys, we've reached the end of the video, and as we do in every video, go ahead and put a thumbs up, subscribe, or comment below any questions you may have left. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Please go ahead and subscribe for more. Thank you.